picture yourself at a party. At some point, one of the other guests, a stranger, asks what your research is about. How will you decide how to share your science with them? This video will give you some hints, and the other nine in the series will go over more practical details. Back to the party. There are different paths you can take. For instance, you could assume that the other guests have a knowledge deficit about your scientific topics, and that this is a great opportunity to enlighten them. However, you should be aware, this attitude might give them second thoughts about whether they belong at this party and might make them run away. Indeed, feeling like someone considers you ignorant is not a good way to start a relationship. And, between you and me, by going down this path you might never get non-academic Lisa to trust you. She might think to herself, hmm, that one is showing off how smart they are. Meanwhile, proud Matt might not come to you next time he wants to know more about the world of science, thinking, I will not be embarrassed by this smarty pants. Instead, you could choose to engage the other party guests in a dialogue, involving them in the conversation, yes, even the shy ones, and sharing some simple examples they can identify with in their everyday experience. This may seem difficult at first, but you can do it. Then, by listening carefully to what they have to say, you can embed their feedback into your dialogue. You could also introduce some metaphors that help you better illustrate your scientific topics. Be as creative as your seven-year-old niece. You might inspire her to become a scientist herself. At the end of the party, perhaps you could invite some of the other guests to participate in your research as citizen scientists and contribute to developing science alongside you. Their eyes might sparkle. This is what science communication is all about. Dialoguing with people, embracing their perspectives and questions to integrate scientific topics smoothly into their daily life. Science communication is an umbrella term covering a wide variety of activities. As a scientist, there are various research-based communication models available to you. Deficit, dialogue and participation. Choose the ones that fit you and most importantly your audience the best. Please help us improve our project by completing this very short form. And don't forget to check out the other videos in the series and additional tips in the description.